top and tail the plantain and peel off the skin. Slice the plantain into sections and ready to fry. Slice the yam into small pieces Peel slightly making sure that you get all the bits out. Slice the yam. In pieces like you have frying chips add water into a bowl and soak the yam this will detach the yam and at the same time this will allow the yam to cook and fry at the same time. So I've just washed the yam, pour that away and leave it to sit for a few minutes. Now I'm adding my coconut oil into the frying pan, cooking on medium high heat. I'm adding sliced onions for the aroma. And I'm going to add the sliced plantain into the hot coconut oil. Now of this fried both sides and I'm transferring into my church pan. I like my plantain golden brown and soft. Look at that, the delicious sweet plantain. Now the yam is ready to fry. The reason why it was soaked first is so that it will not be very crispy inside, but rather it will be crispy outside and very soft inside. Allow it to cook for at least five minutes and then Test and turn. Once it's slightly golden brown, transfer into the church pan and voila, your fried yam is ready. To enjoy your fried yam and plantain, I like to prepare onions, bell pepper into a pan and um, add all-purpose seasoning and in Gus's kitchen extra hot pepper now cover the pan and allow to cook on a medium high heat for at least 10 minutes and now add garlic for that authentic taste now look at that that's ready very colorful and then add a little bit of stock on there and it's ready to eat mm, yummy 
serve with fish.